Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing a video that people have been asking me to do and I will happily do it and that is a Mistweaver Monk pre-patch 10.0 guide. Now this is going to be going away. This information is going to be kind of expired in about, I don't even know, like less than a month. But for now, it's about four weeks of information. So if you're new to Monk or, you know, if you've been playing Monk and you want to see what's changed and what uh, what's the new build, feel free to watch the video and uh, I'll just do my best to help you uh, learn Mistweaver. I'm going to answer the single most common question I've been getting is that is what is going to be the best race in Dragonflight. Now, in pre-patch, there is no CC reduction. So still, racials are the same. There are no CC reduction passives. In Dragonflight, in a couple weeks, there is going to be a trinket bonus that reduces CC on you by 10%, and then a crafting bonus, which is 5%. So everybody's going to have 15% CC reduction, which means the best race is going to change. But for right now, in pre-patch, Orc is still the best. It gives you 20% sun reduction, which is just incredible. Uh, if you want to be Horde, if you want to be Alliance, Human is definitely the best. Just run Relentless let's drink it and you should be good now that is going to change that is going to change when dragonfly drops um but i don't want to confuse anybody so i'm just going to stick with that now so those are the best races first of all let me go over some new spells that we have we actually miss weavers didn't really get many new spells we got quite a few new passives uh but as far as new spells go we did get disable which is a slow, which is great for both PvP and PvE, uh, that reduces the target speed by 15, 50%, and it actually refreshes when you melee hit them, which is really nice. Um, we got Diffuse Magic, Dampen Harm, and Healing Elixir's baseline, which is just crazy. We also have Fortifying Brew. They nerfed Fort Brew again. Don't know why they hate the spell so much. I think it's because it's in the monk tree, so brewmasters will take it. But this used to be like a minute and a half cooldown in BFA. Then it was a three-minute cooldown in Shadowlands. And now it's a six-minute cooldown with a with a talent to reduce by two minutes. So now it's a four-minute cooldown for brew. It's actually kind of crazy. But the most important defensive that we got baseline was Escape from Reality. I just made a video. I'll link it in the description. This is a lifesaver. This is still the only... A spell that you could use while stunned so you do not want to waste your port but this allows you to port twice in 10 seconds which is really really nice and increase the healing and vivify and reduce the mana cost so that's insane um as far as other passives go obviously we have a passive um damage reduction we have statue still there's really nothing new um oh right here mist of life so life cocoon now applies to doing mist and enveloping mist this is a huge quality of life change that they should have done a long time ago but i'm happy we have it now Nourishing Chi was a conduit in Shadowlands that when you, you life cocoon by itself, what it does is it puts an absorption shield on somebody, but it also increases the, the hots that they take by 50%, and that effect lasts 10 seconds now, which is really nice. Common Coalescence is a talent where each time you Soothing Mist, you gain a stack. I should be able to use it now. Maybe not. Yes, right here. Nameplates in the way. Every time you heal with Soothing Mist, it increases the absorption shield of your next life cocoon up to 50 stacks. I'll show I'll keep stacking my soothing mist and I'll show you how big that life cocoon can get. Um, outside of that, there's one another major change was invoke Yulon. Now it's the same thing, but now enveloping mist costs 30%, 33% less mana while Yulon is active, which is exactly what it should have been this entire time. Because before in Shadowlands, what you had to do is you had to use mana T with Yulon to get value out of it. But now you just use Yulon, which is great. Three minute cooldown. You can actually make it a one minute cooldown if you wanted to. I've been try testing that out. I really like it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that's new. There's nothing. Oh, we have a kick, of course. How can I don't want to forget that we have spearhand strike, which is a 15 second cooldown and it interrupts somebody that locks them out for four seconds. So great, great passives. Again, nothing's really new. They brought back a lot of old stuff. They gave some passives for like fist weaving, you know, rapid diffusion. They got some misty peaks, uh, really good for RBGs, I would say. Uh, Secret infusion was a a uh, thing in BFA. They brought it back after Shadowlands, which is great. So a lot of good stuff. By the way, here is a 50 stack of life cocoon. It increased the life cocoon by 150 percent. My life cocoon it absorbs 75,000, and now it absorbs for 180. 7,957. So that that didn't take long for me to stack, by the way. I was stacking that during the talents overview. And it what you can do as soon as the gates open, start stacking. Start stacking uh your life cocoon. Because it's, it's no one you can't hit through it now. It's really, really nice. Before I talk about talents, I want to talk about playstyle because that's gonna really decide what kind of talent you're gonna choose. Ideally, the Mistweaver Monk. It hasn't changed since it's been released. You will not be fist weaving. There is potential for some fist weaving in twos. 
still, I the risk versus reward for fist weaving, I don't think it's worth it. I've tried it. It's just not good. None of our heals are really smart heals. Our uh, Ancient Teachings of the Monster is not a smart heal. That means it will heal anybody if they don't have a percentage of health. So if someone's at 99% and someone's at 1%, there's a chance your healing goes to the person with 99%. So I just think Fist Weaving isn't going to be a play style that Miss Weaver plays. I hope I'm wrong, but from what I've tested, I've done about 300 games in two weeks. I don't think it's going to happen. Now, the play style that you're going to be playing is you're going to be playing just... 40 yards away from your team. What's the range on Soothing Mist? 40 yards away, and you're just healing your teammates. That's 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 all you're doing. Uh, you will occasionally go in for a leg sweep, in-cap leg sweep, if you if the situation rises. So normally, a really good setup that I do is I'll leg sweep the DPS, and I'll go for an in-cap on the healer. That's your setup. That's a really, it's a beautiful setup. Five seconds stun on both DPS, in cap on the healer. Hopefully your teammate has some follow up off that in cap or of, off the stun for the DPS, but that's the play style. So just know these talents and, and rotation is based off of just staying 40 yards away. Don't get CC'd, don't get targeted and just heal. Now for talents, I just want to note that while you're leveling from 60 to 70 in Dragonflight, you're going to get 5 points on the Monk side and 5 points on the Mistweaver side. It feels a little bit awkward right now. I do agree, especially on the Mistweaver side. But just know things start to feel a little bit better at level 70. And I'm, I'm, I normally I would explain the talents I choose. But again, this information probably it's only for pre-patch. So I'm just going to let you know the build I'm running. This, this is absolutely my favorite build I'm running right now. I'll link it in the description. And I've been testing a lot of builds. I've been testing one, two, three, four, five, six. I tested a fist weavers of seven. I've been testing seven different builds. This right now is my favorite build so far because it gives you all the defensives you need. Diffuse magic, dampen harm, fort brew, healing elixirs. But it also uh, gives you, you know, more healing output from bonus brew and resplendent mist. Uh, Resplendent Mist gives you a ton of mastery, and Bonus Brew gives you bonus mastery. So let me show you uh, a breakdown of healing. Maybe I'll show you a breakdown of healing a little bit and just show. But this this is my favorite one. Uh, one flex one is the Dampen Harm. You can flex this talent because some teams are aren't physical damage. You know, Affliction Warlocks they don't really, they don't really hit that hard. Uh, you know, casters don't really hit that hard in one. It's just like getting rod down. So I, you could drop damp and harm. And normally I go for a second tiger tail sweep just because there's nowhere else to go. But you could increase all the healing taken by 4%. Grace the crane is also a really good option. Uh, increase all damage doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but yeah, th this is a flex one that I, I normally run. Uh, normally I put it here or here. Uh, outside of that, it's just your standard. This is the standard talent trees you're gonna be going on the monk side just going for soothe the mist rising sun kick tiger's lust because you want to get your in caps and you want to get your kicks and you want to get your fort brew uh, i don't really run disable the reason i don't run disable is because it seems like every single spec has a slow and mist weavers have so many globals just to heal i don't think it's possible to weave in a disable especially if this is melee range so by the way so you're first of all you're never gonna be pushing on the enemy team you're never going to be pushing. And if they're pushing on you, they're probably trying to kill you. So you don't have the globals to slow teams. You, you, I just, in my opinion, you don't. I, unless, you know, uh, damage slows down at max level. But this is pre-patch, so I'm just not taking disable for now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Transcendence, Escape from Reality, Statue on the Monk's Sun. Pretty good. On the Mistweaver side, again, pretty cookie cutter build. You could, there is some, basically up here, uh, these five points up here, these right here, this is pretty much just going to be the same the entire, and now and, and Dragonflight, these talents are just going to be the same. Uh, the one flex one you can do is you can drop Yulon's gift for Song of Chiji. I, in threes, I've been doing a lot of solo shuffle, okay? A lot of solo shuffle. Not a fan of using Song of Chiji in solo shuffle. First, you have to push in to get it. Second, you have to set up the song. And then third, you have to cast it. Um, I don't get help on any three of those. So I don't get any help getting help pushing in or setting it up or getting cast or not getting kicked so i normally don't go song of chiji in threes in twos very very good option so i i definitely play song of chiji in twos and i haven't done any twos this this uh pre-patch so i've most of them doing solo shuffle practicing threes um so yeah no song of chiji so i go yulon's whisper it sucks but like i don't know any other option i i could go that maybe maybe dancing miss is better i don't know i just go this uh then obviously cloud of focus is our main legendary from Shadowlands, so that's it's huge. Uh, double Resplendent Mist because Gust of Mist has a 30% chance to do 100% more healing, which is just insane. Focus Thunder because it gives you two charges of your Thunder Focus T. 
and then bonus brew so that's kind of what I, this is why it feels a little bit awkward because i think these are the best talents but when dragonflight drops you get five points i'm gonna be going i think with attenuation um you can go with um secret infusion you can even go down here a t of serenity gives you a third charge of th thunder focus t which is just freaking insane so mystery feels a little bit awkward now now we do have a ton of healing output um but it does feel a little bit awkward because we don't have those five last points. But th this is my talent tree. This is what I've been running. This is my favorite build so far. I'll link it in the description. And it's yours. Before I talk about stat priority, I want to give you a breakdown, a healing breakdown of one of my games. This is one of the longest games I had. This is, I was doing 6K HPS, three minute game, top heal, Gust of Mist. Now, Gust of Mist, what it is, is it is a bonus heal from your other healing spells. So Renewing Mist, Enveloping Mist, Expel Harm, Revival, and Vivify cause a gust of mist, a gust of healing mist, that will give you a second heal. Gust of Mist has a 30% chance to do 100% more healing, thanks to the talent we just took, Resplendent Mist. So this healing breakdown, through minute game, it's crazy, because it go, this is solo shuffle, it goes into dampening so fast. It's crazy. It's crazy how good our mastery is. So you want to go verse mastery. Life Cocoon is huge too, just because you can get the huge absorption shields and then vivify. Always prioritize verse mastery. That is your main rotation. If the piece of gear does not have mastery on it, go haste. Haste is really good because again, we do have to cast everything. You know, we do have we do have to cast soothing mist. So uh, I don't know how much haste I have, but you you probably you definitely want to go. I have two percent. Probably want to aim for more like eight percent. Eight percent is when the GC actually doesn't feel like terrible, but yeah, go for go for something like that and you should be good. When it comes to PvP talents, Mistweavers do suffer from success. We have so many good PvP talents and only three slots. So I'll try to talk about any mandatory ones in certain situations, but a lot of them really depend on what you're keying into. So I would I would with how good the common coalescence is, I would almost say that Chrysalis is a mandatory PvP talent just because you have a minute 15 cooldown life cocoon that absorbs. 170,000 damage. It's crazy. It's really good. I think it's mandatory. For the second one, uh, the, these next two slots are really depending on what you're queuing into. What you're going to try to choose between is Eminence, Healing Sphere, Grapple Weapon, Peace Weaver, and Zen Focus T. So you have five different options for two slots, essentially. Um, basically, if you're playing Verse... I. Uh, RMP, I would say you want to play this right here. Oh, that's actually rough. You're going to have to drop Chrysalis for Eminence, I think. Um, this this is pretty much what you're going to be going with. <clears throat> I know I just said Chrysalis was mandatory, but you need Eminence to port stuns at Peace Weaver for combustion. Maybe you could drop Zen Focus T, but you don't want to get kicked once you leave Polymorphs. If you don't think you're going to get kicked, you can drop Chrysalis. Um, that's RMP. Versus Affliction Warlocks that are really good right now. Uh, Peace Weaver again. But if it's if it's Affliction, Warlock, Shadow, Affliction Warlock Shadow Priest, I would almost go with like Healing Sphere versus Affliction Warlock Caster. And then probably drop Chrysalis again for his Unfocused T. I, I think Chrysalis is really important and it's mandatory in most matchups versus cast, but versus casters, maybe it's not so much mandatory. Versus melee, you definitely want Chrysalis. Um, and then if you're playing into like DK Demon Hunter. Uh, Eminence probably isn't too important just because how many stun they have one stun. It might be important. If you port the grip, you don't need it, but you could run that. And then Zen Focus T I'd say is really good because they have a lot of interrupts. So something like this. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh versus warriors, you definitely want disarm. So any warrior team, just play disarm. Sh stops their damage, stops their like momentum. And most of the times they'll just trigger the first one. So uh, yeah, I think that's it for the PvP talents. Again, a lot of different options, and you only have three slots. Healing rotation is the easiest part of Mistweaver, unfortunately. But at least our healing rotation is easy. What you want to do is you put down your statue. And really, all you want to do is keep renewing mist up on your teammates and yourself or whoever's taking damage. And use your Vivifies to heal. That's that's the basic rotation. You're going to want to weave in Thunder Focus T. So Thunder Focus T will empower Enveloping Mist to make it do instant healing. Renewing Mist to your next, next Renewing Mist duration is increased. Vivify costs no mana. Rising Sun Kick has a... Uh, uh, not, uh, cooldown reduced by 9 seconds. And SS font channel is 100% faster. You are only concerned about Vivify and Envelopment Mist. That's it. Vivify costs no mana. Envelopment Mist instantly heals for 11,000. Because you want to keep in mind Clouded Focus. What it does is every time you use Vivify or Envelopment Mist, you get a stack. And what the stack does 
is it will increase by 15%. It increases the healing of Velvet Mist and Vivify, and it also reduces their mana cost. You need to keep that in mind. Not vibing with the song. I'm just gonna change it real quick. So, what you're trying to do is to try to get as many uh, stacks of Cloud Focus as possible for as little mana. So, Thunder Focus D, Vivify costs no mana. Vivify costs no mana again, because you have two stacks. So now you have two stacks of Cloud of Focus and it costs no mana. So keep that in mind and then make sure you keep doing mist up on, on people. And that's that's the rotation. It's it's simple once you get the hang of it, but it's really, it's not too bad. Again, keep doing mist on as many people as possible. Use Thunder Focus T while channeling Soothing Mist and then get free Vivifies and then you know go for a third Vivify if you can or do an Envelope Mist. So. It's really, really, it, you get the hang of it. Maybe if I do a solo shuffle, if the solo shuffle, sh solo shuffle cue isn't too bad, I'll actually show you. I'll do a game or two to show you the rotation. All right, the DPS didn't join, so hopefully we have someone for this. All right, we have a game. This guy says he's a fan. Yo, shout out to uh, Noru on Shattered Hand. Big fan. Yo, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I told him he's in a video. No pressure. So. <laughs> I hope he's watching. All right, so we got Mage Death Knight here. I really like Zen Focus T because they have a lot of kicks. Peace Weaver because it's mostly magic damage. And then Short Cocoon is just really, really good. Um, I don't think there's anything else I would change here. It's just healing output is what we're looking for. Uh, what we're trying to do again is stay 40 yards away. Put your port down. Put your statue up. Renewing Mist on everybody. The Mage is going to open with a Polymorph on me. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to mind games him right now. I port the Poly. Oh, it's not on me. Good. And I'm just going to just heal right here. Thunder Focus T, Zen Focus T, while channeling Soothing Mist, get a Vivify, line that pop. Unreal. That's all right, though. We got Yulon Hots going, um, which maybe should be enough. Pull it again. I feel like we should be on the mage, but that's fine. So we're pulled it again. We're pulled it one more time. I'm going to incap the Arcane Sword, Surge. And, you know, with the caster back here, just be annoying, you know? Let them let them try to come back here. I would say the mage is probably like the kill target. But I get that polymorph. Again, renewing mist is very important. I don't know if I'm on poly or not. So we're just going to kind of chill. Revival here. Because we're kind of taking some damage. Then focus T. Thunder focus T. He kicks into it. I'm going to try to kick the polymorph here. Kicked it. And we're just going to free cast mage. Mage. I, I think it's mage. Incap this. And I'm going to try to get him away from him. So right now what I'm trying to do is reposition. Uh, he has no mage kick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to vivify. So this is the best time, by the way, in the middle in a game. Is when the casters don't have any kicks. Because you would just free cast. Again, I'm just putting Renewing Mist up. I thought that was going to be a polymorph. He's trying to ma mass uh, invis poly me. Lining this. Big healing. Zen Focus T here. I used to, went for a Thunder Focus T there just because we were in trouble. I feel like it's definitely mage, but that's okay. Be healing here just with vivifies and expel harm. Expel harm. Did not mention it. Very, 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 very good heal. I have a whole video about it because I, I expel harm is my favorite heal in the game. We're chastised on here. In cap here. So this is one of those situations where the healer pushed in on us. So we're just going to take advantage of it. You know, um, be healing. That's rave hope. Spell this. Kick that smite. Stunned. I'm taunting the pet here. All right. We're doing a really good job of just staying alive and doing miss as well. We're blinded here. We got gripped in. We're going to roll away. You don't want to stick around for this at all. So we're going to roll. Revival because it's a burst cooldown. Revival is good versus burst cooldowns. And that's pretty much it. Try to line it up with combustion from mages. Arcane power from arcane mages. Uh... Or what is it called? It's uh, a bomb limb from Death Knights. Anything like that. Try to line up with a cooldown that's magic. All right. So now that you know your rotation, unfortunately, that is the easy part. The hardest part about Mistweaver and the highest skill cap is surviving. That is where it is. And using your ability to reposition, to you know, start casting again when you're getting tunneled or when teammates start to you know reposition around the map. This, uh, I have a clip of me surviving versus a team and I'll link it towards the end of this, but pretty much what you're doing is you're trying to just save your port for every stun yard or every other stun yard. So what you do is the first time you get stunned, maybe you just port, especially when teams open hard on you like RMP. And then now that you have escape from reality, you can actually port again to reposition and re uh, reset your port. 
Now, outside of that, you're going to have to pre pre fort brew, pre diffuse, and pre dampen harm goes on you. Otherwise, you are going to die because still port is the only cooldown that you could use while stunned, and it's I don't think it's going to change ever. So you have to remember that. Uh, without port, you can't do anything while stunned. You could shrink it, and that's your only option. Um, Pre-life cocoon is also pretty good, especially now that you have the stacks of the common coalescence. You can pre-life cocoon and pretty much just stay alive. Uh, using your roll to get CC and to reposition, I would highly recommend just practicing. Let's just say I'm right here, and I want to reach the, I don't know, this troll right here. What I'll do is I'll just position in different situations, and then I'll roll towards him. And I'll just keep doing that. I'll keep re I'll keep facing in different directions. Let's just say he's like over here. I want to get to this guy right here. I'll mark him. What I'll do is I'll just try my best to land on right, right on top of him. And then do it from different distances too. You just do that over and over again. So use your mobility as it's your best defensive. Especially for repositioning and making teams not want to hit you. Um, slow is already kryptonite. But you have Tiger's Lust. And I'll show you the clip of me staying alive versus a team. I, I actually don't think there's anything crazy you have to do. I really, I really do believe that. Okay. Well, that's our trinket. So that kind of sucks. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The healing. Okay. Sweeping everything. Get away from me. I diffuse magic this. I ported. Nice. Good. Good. They're actually chasing me. Second port, boom. Oh, I try to roll away. I'm hoping for a kill on that side fiend. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Juke that night there. Oh my god. Anything. I will take anything, please. All right, we're vibing. We're vibing. Oh my god! Dispel the mind. Why does mind games hit for forty percent of my health? We're just vibing right now, baby. Stunning this. Get this guy out of here. Get him out of here. Todd. Todd. Bro, Miss Weaver. Oh my god! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Like, if you kite well, it actually feels like they can't kill you. I mean, there are like. It's definitely a little bit scary, but like, oh, it's so nice, man. And that is pretty much it. Hopefully this guide isn't too long. I didn't want to make it too long for anybody who wa watching during the pre-patch. But if you have any questions, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you're enjoying Mistweaver in the pre-patch. I'll see you later.